Hey guys, um, so I got a question about uh, the MBLAB stuff, um, about using MBLAB uh, Rigify. Uh, it, somebody said it wasn't working. I just tried it, I think it's working. Uh, but note, I'm not using the latest MBLAB. I'm using what's in my repository. I'll put a link to it in the video. But anyway, so uh, basically what I do is I just go to the MBLAB, you know, just create a character. No, crunches 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 creates one right there right and then I go to finalize tools uncheck the save images and finalize and that usually takes a little bit of time all right so now it's done um, I would check, so in the Rigify MB for MBLAB, uh, first you would need to add a meta rig. So you just create, select the, um, the character itself and then add the meta rig. So it creates the meta rig, right? It calls it MBLAB, meta rig, whatever, right? Uh, and then after that, just generate the rig. It will crunch through, will generate the rig right there. Then you need to select the body again and then rename to def uh, what that does is if you go to the you know the what do you call this part the object metadata properties right uh, you'll see that um, all the different uh, groups have been renamed appropriately right uh, then one extra step you have to go to the uh, modifier tab right and then you will need to select the um, what do you call it? the MBLAB, the new rig, a rig that we created, right? Uh, so this is if you go here in the collection, it's called rig, right? So all I need to do is just go select the rig, not the meta rig, the actual rig, right? Then you can delete the other stuff, right? So I'll delete the meta rig, and then what's this guy? Yeah, I'll delete this rig as well. This is the original rig that comes with it. So I delete it, right? And then that's it. And then if I select this guy, let's uh, remove the modifier. The, not remove, but un, un uh, what do you call it? Uh, not make it work. I lose the word now. Anyway. So I'll uh, uncheck the subdivision modifier so that it's a little bit faster. And once I go here, if I start moving, voila, right? Everything is there. You can move the character as you wish. And then if you go to the items tab, you'll see all the different layers here. So you can just uncheck most of them and I don't know, keep the arms, for example, the arm IK. It does look like they did a few changes in the I think this is the Rigify, the Rigify um, add-on has been updated. So anyway, that looks cool. Uh, that's it. You just, you know, have it. Well, one interesting thing that I just found out, maybe everybody knows about it except me, but if you select this guy here, then you go to the toggle pole and you just click one, then it creates the toggle. I find that a little bit better than this guy during animation, but anyway. This is my, oops, yeah, you don't want to move that. This is my, uh, my preference. Anyway, hopefully you find, found that, uh, that uh, little video useful. And uh, thanks, take care.